Welcome to the Tides of Your Life video series. This is a tarot reading on the faces of the moon. In this episode, we will be discussing four faces of the moon. The first phase will be the new moon in Cancer on the 29th of June, 2022. The second phase will be the first quarter moon in Libra on the 6th of July, 2022. The third phase will be the full moon in Capricorn on 13 July 2022. And finally, the last quarter moon in Aries, which will be on the 20th of July 2022. Let us now go to the tarot card reading. Good day! Welcome to our new video series, and it is entitled the tides of your life and uh, from here we would be giving a reading for the next moon cycle which is from june 29 2022 up to july 2020 so we will be uh, reading the four cycles within this time period or this time frame so uh, the new moon in cancer is on June 29, 2022. And then on July 6, we will be having the first quarter moon in Libra. And on July 13, we will be having the full moon in Capricorn. And finally, for our last quarter moon, we will be having it on July 20, which is the last quarter moon in Aries. Okay, so uh, when we look at these four cards from the uh, Monology Manifestation uh, cards, we can see that the in the new moon, uh, you are, whoever you are, who is reading, watching right now this video, you are being invited to relax. Okay, so at the start or the face of the moon, the invitation for you is to relax. It could be that in the previous cycle of the moon, you have been very busy, you have been working a lot, you have faced a lot of challenges. And right now, your body, your soul, your, your spirit, your body, your heart, and your mind need some moment to slow down and to relax. And also you need to share also this, this good disposition also then this opportunity to relax also. If you can have that opportunity to share it with your family, opportunity to, to share it with your family, then it is much, even much better. Now, when you go to the first quarter moon, the invitation for you is to keep your heart open. So as you relax, as you go to the next phase of the moon, where the moon would be half already uh, illuminated, by the rays of the sun, you are invited to keep your heart open, open to new possibilities, open to new relationships, open to new insights. So this is the invitation for the first quarter moon in Libra. When you go to the full moon in Capricorn, the invitation for you is to take a reality check. So when you reach the fullness of this of or the climax of this cycle of the moon phases uh, at this time where everything is high even the tides are high there is a importance here for you to take a reality check when things are already in their full bloom when uh, if your projects and your relationships are already in their full bloom there is a need for you to take a reality check because uh, there might be a danger for you to be ungrounded and there is a need for you to Again, take a reality check to stop for a while and to get yourself grounded again. And then when you go to the last quarter moon where the face of the moon is about to win, you are encouraged to work through your feelings. So after an upheaval of going up to the final activity, there is a need for you again to slowly, slowly work out through your meaning. So the reality check starts here. You stop and assess what have happened and at the same time you also learn to you are also invited to listen to your feelings as the face of the moon starts to win so the tide slowly goes up 
it starts with relaxation and then you keep your heart open for the possibilities and at the tip you need to check everything assess everything at the top and as the cycle wanes you are also encouraged to in, not only to check the situation not only to check your decisions but also to be sensitive to your feelings now we will try to see what are the possible things that will happen in this moon phase by uh, getting snapshots of the possible future that will happen to you on this phase of the moon now remember this is just a possible future so uh, you just take what will resonate with you for example uh, when the as the phase goes through if you see oh yeah I it was a sort of seen or given uh, the information was given ahead of time before that cycle came then you can use this one but uh, remember this is a possible future and you still have the freedom to you have the freedom of choice you can change things even if for example at this phase you can see already what was uh, predicted in the cards as already beginning to happen if you are not happy with what is happening you can change it you have the freedom of choice to change it okay so now we will see what are the possible things that will happen in this phase of the moon okay okay For some of you, no. you have just, for some of you, at the beginning of this phase, you have just finished a, a certain uh, tower moment or a certain moment of crisis in your past. And at the start of the phase of the moon, you are just about to leave this crisis that you have undergone. This crisis is something that uh, it can be a relationship or a working situation or a family situation that did not satisfy you you experienced something in the recent past that did not satisfy you and uh, a new option is being offered to you at this present time but you are hesitant to accept this new option at this present time you prefer to just leave the situation behind and so here as you can see here no uh, it had been a painful situation uh, with the swords and everything there might have been some altercation or bad or some uh, hurting words that might have been exchanged along the way but you decided to walk away from it you felt that it's not worth it and so you decided to just walk away from the situation the situation did not satisfy you and it seems that heaven is offering you something and so you are invited to relax whatever crisis you have undergone it's already finished it's water under the bridge the universe is offering you something new but at this present time you are encouraged to just relax you've been through an upheaval let it go for a while and just relax and uh you are in the process of undergoing a tower moment no uh actually what had happened is sort of like a tower moment for you it has caused you a lot of pain but something that you considered as a stable something that was stable in your life before has just been broken down no? whatever situation had happened it is now broken down and you realize that it no longer serves you right now you realize that it's no longer important to you whatever before was your security you realize it's not it's not worth it it's not much now the invitation for you yes you were not satisfied in your recent past many things have happened that have caused you to leave the situation and it was a tower moment because before whatever situation you had before you considered it as your source of security 
something that you held on into your life but now it is been destroyed uh, it's like a, a tower made of paper you realize that it was a fickle situation that it could not be worth supporting you and so it led you to leave behind whatever has happened in the past no so it has made you to re it had made you realize that it's not really really helpful to you at this present time now with regards to this gift that is being offered it seems that it is somebody somebody is about to come into your life right now and he's a very flamboyant kind of person now he i don't know if uh, it could be somebody that might um make you feel that he's uh, a little bit proud a little bit arrogant or if it's a woman you you feel that she's a little bit more straightforward than a woman he, uh, should be <laughs> but i mean uh, it's a yeah it's a not not to denigrate the the woman nature i mean uh everybody can be straightforward everybody can be very confident everybody can be flamboyant whether you're a a masculine or a feminine a male or a feminine but whoever this one comes in no, it might make you if this is a guy here you will feel that this guy is too proud if it's a lady then you will feel oh this lady is too straightforward no? so it will be somebody who is very very stylish somebody who's very showy somebody who's very uh, a little bit arrogant or a little bit straightforward no depending on who uh, on the gender, I mean, they, 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 they ha it has to be some. This is somebody who's, who's very vocal, very straightforward, uh, a little bit too, a little bit confident. No, but it's somebody who's passionate and with fire. So this is the one that is coming, and I feel that this person who will be coming, he might not be the same one that you expect. You usually not make. It might not be the same type that you usually choose in the past no this might be a little bit uh, very strong character for you but um, this person seems to be the gift that is being given to you by the divine so even if he doesn't fit the criteria that you usually have for a partner in life or if she doesn't fit the criteria that you usually have for 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 your criteria for your choice of partner just keep your heart open you keep your heart open because in the long run this person will be offering you unconditional love and if you accept this unconditional love it will be a love that will be overflowing something that both of you will be con both of you if you would accept this relationship both of you will be contributing to the relationship both of you will be giving each other unconditional love and you will be giving from the abundance of your heart this person will be giving you love from the abundance from the abundance of his or her heart so this f being straightforward this being too uh, too arrogant or too aggressive is just an external show but this person is passionate and is capable of giving unconditional love and so you're invited to keep your heart open and to take a reality check reality check is to consider uh, the love that is being offered by this person in contrast to the previous loves that you've had that did not satisfy you so you have to take a reality check uh, not to be deceived by external show but to go and look deeper into the person to see the beauty in the person to try to see and appreciate he might be showy at first no but he is a person who will be offering you love that is unconditional love that is intense no and if you look at it no it can be also another possibility is that two persons will be coming one will be flamboyant and then the other one will be romantic now so it will depend for some of you it will be somebody who will be coming as someone aggressive 
but later on you will be you will discover they are capable of giving you unconditional love it can be also that this person who is showy might be also another the person can be also for some of you it can be also the person a person from the past who has been one of these cups that you did not satisfy you and that this person is coming very fast because he realized the value that you were in his life in the past and he will be coming back to you with great haste with the fear that he might lose you that finally after this tower moment that you have undergone he realizes maybe he also underwent a tower moment he realizes the mistake that he had and he's coming back very fast so for some of you it could be that somebody in the past will be coming back and then for some of you for those in which somebody in the past will be coming back another person someone new will be coming and will be offering you a cup that will be very promising he will be offering you a higher form uh, a love that is uh, overflowing and then uh, a love that is uh, not non non codependent now you will be for some of you you will be given a choice between two people okay so you need to take reality check to consider everything uh, consider the past if this is a past person coming back then you have to check uh, is it really have the person really changed or is it still the same the same thing just a new provocation and everything no it can be also that way so there are two possibilities here it could be somebody coming uh, with a promise uh, that looks flamboyant at first but in the end you will realize is capable of giving unconditional love or it could be also that for some of you there will be two people coming someone from your past and another one who is uh, going to give you a love that will make you feel satisfied so these are two possibilities here and so there is a need for you to take a reality check now whatever choice you make you will undergo some challenges now especially if you're going to choose between two people then there will be some tension within your heart no uh the fire no? there will be some 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 struggles inside you no and then you will need to work through your feelings no about this one or for those of you who in is in the first group who were in somebody comes who seems to be arrogant but later on as, as time goes by you realize that this person is capable of giving you unconditional love you will still have turmoil because your memory of the past will make you not trust the new person that is coming or it can be for some of you uh, it will be uh, a turmoil because you have to choose between somebody from the past or somebody who is new that will be coming so there will be some turmoil within you and whatever turmoil is within you do not worry in the end you will triumph and you will become the queen of ones no and uh whatever happens no in the end it will be something good for you but you need to work through your feelings finally you will be able to make a decision whether if it is only the in the first group if it is only uh if it is a new person who is usually out of the usual character that you look for but you see the possibility of having a wonderful relationship with him then you can make a decision in the end in the end things will get clear uh, as you work through your feelings you will realize if this person is worth having in a relationship you will be able to make a decision but it will take a lot of inward looking a lot of introspection in order to make a final decision but in the end you will finally make the decision you will know you things will get clearer and at the same time if for those who are in another group you have to choose between two people in the end you will also know who to choose between the two so these are the two possibilities that you can have here now let us try to see some oracle uh, actually these are quotes no oracle messages for the new moon uh, so this is for the new moon as you can see here 
new moon okay let's randomly pick one card here okay for the new moon and then we'll take another one for the half moon or the first quarter so we randomly take something here don't worry the cards have been pre-shuffled in the past uh, just before we started and then finally we get something for the full moon okay okay let's randomly take from the full moon okay so let's see what the oracles would like to tell us for the new moon it's from Rumi it says here there is a moon inside every human being learn to be companions with it so in the moment of the new moon when you are encouraged to relax you are encouraged to nurture yourself you know the moon inside every human being is your inner self your inner child and you need to nurture it after the trials that you have undergone just recent just recently in the past no you are encouraged to nurture yourself allow yourself to heal from the situation allow yourself to recover from the situation here is from albert einstein i like to think that the moon is there even if i am not looking at it okay so you are encouraged to keep your heart open to always believe that there is something good for you that there is something beautiful waiting for you there's a gift from the universe waiting for you the moon is there uh, the moon is uh, represents i think in this situation the moon represents something that is beautiful something that is positive that even in the midst of trials and tower moments there is something beautiful there and you just need to believe in it keep your heart open something is there and some that something will arrive and will make things much better for you okay and then finally in the full moon it says here from sanobar khan i want to be in love with you the same way i am in love with the moon with the light shining out of its soul so see from here somebody is coming along who will be giving you a love that is overflowing somebody who will value you if you have not been valued in the past and have caused you some pain a lot of pain somebody is coming along who will give you a love and who will appreciate the beauty that emanates from you it's not just plain physical beauty but he will see or she will see the beauty that emanates from within you okay so if it is somebody who might be arrogant give him some time you no know, if there's only one person who comes along to your life give him some time and try to see could it be this person who is capable of seeing external things you need to see also the beauty that is within the person external things are not uh, very reliable although sometimes they help they you need to give them also the benefit of the doubt now for those who two people will be arriving one from the past or somebody new then you have to discern again listen to your heart take a reality check look <clears throat> look and choose someone who can give you a love that is overflowing at the same time there is a third choice that you can make you can choose to be alone and just be in touch with the divine and be happily single <laughs> so that's the third option that you can have and people will appreciate the beauty that will emanate from you because when you are in touch with the divine your cup will overflow and if you are not in a hurry right now if you are in the hermit mode and you're happy being single that's a third choice that you can make and it's something that you can also be happy it's also a beautiful choice uh, less struggles with the heart you no know? if you choose to be alone for a while don't worry the divine will make your cup overflow and with your cup overflowing, people will start to see the beauty that emanates from you. you know? The moon with the light shining out of its 
soul. So if you are in touch with the divine and you're just happy being single, let it be. Enjoy it for this moment and just enjoy. Live life to the full. Enjoy the presence of the divine in your life and your cup will overflow. Don't worry. If you're not satisfied with these two choices or you're not satisfied for the other group, you're not satisfied with the person coming in, then be happy. Choose to be alone. It can be also another choice. But also, you have to listen. Take a reality check. Listen to your heart and keep an open heart. Open an open heart. Keep your heart open. Study the possibilities. Do not be in a hurry. Relax. Take your time. You are not, you do not have to be in a hurry. The important thing is that you are the queen of wands. You are happy whether you are in a relationship or not. If ever you would go out to a relationship, it is because you would like to share it with somebody. You would like to share the abundance of your joy with somebody. But even if you do not have somebody in your life, you are a queen who is capable of being happy. You are happily single right now. And if somebody comes along and if you want to consider them, okay, no problem. But always remember, you are the source of your happiness or the source of your happiness is with you, is within you. And you are a cup that is overflowing. When you reach out to somebody, it is not because you need them to fill up your cup. You are a cup that is overflowing. You are reaching out for people in order to share with them the joy that you are experiencing. If there's nobody there in your life, you would still be happy. If somebody comes along and you want to share it with you, you will also still be happy. So you will be the queen of wands, passionate, full of life, somebody who enjoys life to the full, no? somebody who is living life to the full, somebody who has zest for life and your cup is overflowing. So you are the source of happiness and the source of happiness is with you. Well, that's it for now. I hope that it has been beneficial to some of you who have been watching this. So remember, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates with you. And uh, until next time, have a great day.